Here's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to affect you more than really it affects me because I've had a vasectomy. PJ, <laughs> you looked at me like I, you knew you shouldn't say that. The second you said it, you looked at me. Now, I'm going to quickly I'm going to quickly adjust this conversation. <laughs> Please okay. do. This case should never have come to trial. I don't think it's fair to call my clients frauds. Because one time I turned into a dog and they helped me. Thank you. Your Honor, we would like to withdraw our plea of not guilty and enter a plea of guilty. This trial is a travesty. It's a travesty of a mockery, of a sham, of a mockery, of a travesty, of two mockeries, of a sham. If we are to have faith in justice, we need only to believe in ourselves. And the truth shall set you free! How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Oh, guilty, but with a real good excuse. I think the truth will come forth. You can't handle the truth! Hello, everybody. It's time for more Law Light, brought to you by Foreman Watson, Holtry, FWHlegal.com. We are... Uh, at Dee's Diner today, not at the high-rise white brick edifice, but uh, every other week we are here, loud and clear. That's right. Not drinking beer. Well, <laughs> <laughs> then I'll serve that here. I'm tr- yeah. <laughs> That's a little controversial. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, I was trying to come up with a rhyme, but nothing then was. I'll serve nothing that here. Was, no. Would have been the way to end that. Um, I was feeling the fear. So let's go over real quick what we've all ordered for lunch. I tried. Uh, Kendall, what did you order for lunch? I got breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal ever. So I got an omelet and hash browns. PJ? Excited. I went simple this time. I just went with a regular cheeseburger and fries. But I'm trying to get something different every time we come here. Oh, yeah. Is that why you didn't go with the julian? Didn't. That's the, sa- that's the salad. That's I was the huge the, the salad. salad okay. Seven, okay. Yeah. I got the julian, but I had... Uh, um, Grilled chicken added to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. As if there wasn't enough meat mound to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be even bigger. You'll see then. You'll there, see what I'm talking about. There is half a turkey and half a, a ham on there. Yeah. With cheese, the lure. Anyway, uh, always good eats at uh, Dee's Diner. We appreciate them letting us come in. They're a super sponsor of the show. We're uh, rocking and ready. And man, I'm telling you, the last two days I have taken it through a fire hydrant i mean it is like i have not stopped i have not stopped the one thing i did stop to do i didn't even know what that phrase meant i don't (laughs) that's the first time i've ever heard that yeah like i'm taking it through a fire hydrant taking it yeah it's like taking a drink from a fire hydrant because he's busy oh because you're like super busy blown away (laughs) i gotcha i thought maybe you just had to go to the bathroom really bad (laughs) i am not a canine (laughs) um (laughs) you know we've all drank out of like uh well, not fire hydrants, but like water hoses. Yeah, but this, you've never heard the saying? It's like drinking Taking from it fire. through a fire hydrant? Taking it from a fire hydrant. Or taking it from a fire hydrant? Right. No, but automatically my mind goes to inappropriate places. I know it so. would. And that's why we still pray for you, even though... Uh, that's okay, I'm praying for myself now. Good. <laughs> that's, that's good. Um, we need to pray for Kendall, too. Sorry, Kenny. Kendall okay, it's all good. is yeah. the summer intern, so she gets stuck doing these kinds of things. But we assigned her some work. Yeah. And we're going to see. Oh, how she gets she... free food. I feel so sorry for her. <laughs> listen, listen, here's the deal. Before we get to that, before we get to that, I will say this. I'm going to give Kendall a compliment, which is very rare for me to do because I'm probably one of the, the people around that just doesn't give in to her. And like, I don't even call her Kendall, really. True. I always call her White. True. Yeah. And um, so. Um, True. <laughs> That's her last name. If right. Uh, even though I couldn't remember it Blondie. on the last show. Blondie's another one. I Blondie, um, white, sporty. Yeah. So if it's not racial, uh, it's uh, it's just, a sexist. You know, that is my last name. White. It's, you know, right. a bit But, you know, that comes but, from, like, yeah. like, your brother, that wouldn't right. phase him because he's played sports all his life. And, white, get over here. Right. You know, like, right. but, but f- f- you know, right. females aren't subjected to, like, they're not used to being called, like, called down by their last name it's just not the true the right so anyway that's why i like doing it um <laughs> last night i text her hey white where's my good night <laughs> yeah you did so um so anyway so here's the thing before we get to her homework assignment um i do want i am going to give her a compliment okay pj i asked her to come up with some a new signature for my emails i was like come up with something I've used this same one forever. It's boring. I was like, let's spice this thing up. Okay. Yeah. I wonder why it said John Kowalski every time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who is this? <laughs> so she, uh, 
she says, oh, well, Travis, I need a picture. I was like, oh, we're really, we're, we're sprucing her I'm going to do something. Right. I'm going to do it. So I gave her a, a picture, the one that uh, the Davis County Bar Association took of us recently. And uh, she took that and put together a really nice signature for my emails. Now it says Dr. John Kowalski. <laughs> <laughs> added, he's added he's stepped up. Yes. <laughs> See, uh, the, the, I, did, I did test. And now I don't... I, I don't know if like if you can test it for me, but I scrolled over those links you put on there and it's not working. Okay. So we got to figure that out. Okay. Here's I was going to say, is this a compliment or is this about you, what you try to do for him? No, 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 no. <laughs> I know. On the, Awkward. On the one <laughs> she sent me that we took it from, it worked. But I, and it yeah. may work. It may work from the recipient, mm-hmm. but not me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm the sender. So I want to when we get back see okay. if it works like if you scroll over it if it's working or not because if not we'll need to tweak that but anyway yeah. PJ it's got it's got my picture it's got the firm demographics on there it's got our logo with the dedicated to you committed to justice around it mm-hmm. and then it's got the the um, symbols which are supposed to be interactive links for our Facebook page our podcast our Instagram and our Twitter awesome and it's all in my signature and uh, so she put that together. It looks like it pops. It's got color in it. It looks good. Um, so thank you. Good job. Of course, thank you, yeah. White, for You're your welcome. attention to that. Um, <laughs> we appreciate that. Um, the, the other thing uh, that I wanted to say before we get to your homework assignment, my, my cousins, who I'm very close with. Are you guys close to your cousins? Do you have yes, cousins? Yes, very. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was a lot closer. I mean, we're still close, but... I don't see them as often because they moved to Tennessee. Well, oh. well, no, no, no. I take that back. Now they're living in Henderson. Oh, well, you're closer than they're you closer, were. but they're still not. But I meant close, next door. like not geographically. <laughs> I meant close, like Relations. buddies. Like, well, no, 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 no. Well, I'm, like, I'm still close to them with when them. I see them. Do you have a group text with your cousins? Are you that close? No. Okay. Kendall, are you that close? I'm very your, close with, my, with all cousins? of my cousins. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about that after we hear about your homework okay. assignment. But I want to tell everybody that um, my, my cousins on our group text, I'd sent them a picture of us doing our podcast last week. And uh, my, my cousin was like, well, I didn't really, I guess, appreciate that you had a podcast. And I said, like, yeah. I said, we're 139 weeks into it. you know. And he was like, really? I was like, yeah. I said, you ought to just listen to this last episode. I said, it's really great. Well, they listened to it and they were just like, they, they, they were immediately texting. We have a group text of all nine of us. And um, they were uh, they were like, oh my gosh, what a story! And, the, and y'all that that the, that it's a you know a good episode. So that so what they've that they have asked me, they've given me an assignment for the podcast. I'm going to hold on to that for just a second before. So we're gonna the assignment they've given me is real interesting. Okay, and it's okay. kind of what we're gonna do today here on the old podcast. <laughs> All right. All right. And so um, building. Yeah. So, but Kindle. Um, one of the things that summer interns do, especially as they get closer and closer to law school, is we give them research assignments. Uh, you are working on a case for us, a real case that's going to be going to mediation True. in June. I hope they give you some real work. To True. Do. Yeah. Yeah. We're covering a lot of bases. It's um, fun. And you have uh, read some depositions yet? Yes. How many have you read? I've read. Um, Bleak. Sorry. Sometimes I forget that it's I'm okay. not. I can, I can edit that. Sometimes out. I forget that I'm not just talking to him. I'm talking mm-hmm. to the internet. So I, I've read two depositions. Okay. Yes. And who are they again? Uh, no. my, <laughs> I knew I would do that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I've read two depositions, transcripts. Yeah. Okay. And it's, it's okay. It's, this is just live. That I will not name. So, yeah. so <laughs> you know, I'm just interested in, you, you know, for the listeners, uh, Kendall is in her second year of college so she has had no law school training at all but we're giving her a task that she's going to help me with a um, the the writing of a a mediation statement and to familiarize herself with the case i told her the place to start was reading some depositions and then i'll give her some other stuff to read give us a one minute takeaway from those depositions before i read them i was familiar with the substance of the case but not any really details right. um, besides you know emails I had read and letters and different things like that while I'm filing or things like that so the depositions definitely give you an inside look mm-hmm. at what's going on and familiarize and kind of 
picture better what is going on. Um, I also read the request for production documents and the mm -hmm. interrogatories, which helped just kind of connect those different pieces together. So I right. have way better understanding of the case now, and I feel like I can actually talk about it more and know what I'm talking about, which is always good. Yeah, so, <laughs> it always so makes you feel better. <laughs> so the question I have is, as you read the depositions, do you start to see the development of issues and the development of, of like the theory of the case, like yes. the, the approaches that we're taking? Yes, I do. And I, um, I highlighted a lot of different sections of the depositions and kind of flagged them as this is a red flag, this is a problem, this is why. I, mean, I also drew out a timeline right. while I was reading and some of the things that right. they say don't match up and you can see them kind of going against their word that they originally said, you know, pages back. Right. And that's interesting to see. So yeah, right. it connects the dots. Yeah. So that process is the discovery of a case. It's, it's where we uh, take depositions and do write questions back and forth uh, to begin to get information to uh, be able to tell the story of the case and um, taking good depositions is truly an art I mean it's hard to do yes. and then it takes a lot of time um, to get to where you can take those kinds of depositions so reading them the younger you are when you start reading depositions if you really want to go into being a law school, a, you know a lawyer the earlier you start reading depositions and trying to connect the dots as you said the better it's going to be for you because you'll learn legal analysis from that so now um, did you give her like some good depositions some juicy interesting ones or are they super I think boring? every deposition is a little juicy right well mm. a little uh, see, well here's the thing i haven't really read any of the depositions necessarily you but in, in the beginning i was part of because i would record some of the depositions before right. they changed a rule where because i work for us i can't you be can. the one to do them anymore yeah. that an outside company has to now but of the four that we did, I think three of them were really interesting, mm -hmm. and one of them I about uh, just climbed into a coffin and yeah. well, buried myself six feet under the ground. Yeah. It was so unbelievably <laughs> I know, boring. That's what everybody's been um, telling me whenever I tell them that that's what I've been doing, reading the depots and stuff. Um, but I've watched some of Travis's, I've observed those, and I've observed some of Davin's as well, and. I think I think they're interesting. Of course, it can get monotonous, and you're wondering right. why are they actually asking these questions, especially if you don't have the background that they do. But I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting to read the transcripts. I really like reading and writing. You trying to convince me or yourself? No, I, I do, I do. <laughs> but I think you know you are not into that stuff. Obviously, you do a lot more creative stuff. So. The things that you think are interesting are not the same. <laughs> I think <laughs> as it, for me, I think it's more about what the like you were saying the substance right. of the case is because I know that I did one with Travis where the whole time I'm sitting there and it started getting kind of heated. Right, it I, does. Yeah, it, and I remember sitting there and he's he's asking these really hard questions and causing the person that he's talking to, to just kind of, to exactly. Sweat. And yes. I'm sitting, I remember sitting behind the camera going, oh, snap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> there were several oh, snap moments yeah. going on there. And yeah. he dropped the mic a couple of times. And it was, re it, it was two things. It was really funny and interesting to see, which is technically two things in one. And then the other thing was it was scary because the person that he was oh, snapping should have like known this stuff considering the profession he had right so it made me go yikes it I is probably funny should to not watch the attorneys yeah. kind of quake in their boots a little bit whenever well, the this wasn't the talking well, okay this was the opponent yeah this was the person that was, oh, it was. yeah it was it wasn't an, it wasn't the attorney pj was it a physician it was a physician right. yes i remember that deposition yeah. and uh oh but i'm sure even that even their attorney was probably like oh snap yeah reel now it in reel do? it in take mm -hmm. it back <laughs> he's probably stepping on that person's foot going hey, yeah just, just shut up yeah right just say uh i don't know well, I'm glad you're getting a chance to do it, and we'll, we'll uh, it'll all come together when you see how we put together the mediation statement. So, but let's get on to some fun stuff. Um, I gave you a homework assignment. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. When I was in college, PJ, one time, a fraternity brother of mine told me that he was going to give me my out. I was, it was, I was like, I was becoming a. Um, becoming a member of the fraternity. Right. A pledge. A pledge. Right. And <laughs> so, like an out of. Like no, getting so spanked had, no, or no. having and to do so something you, crazy you had, on campus. You had, to, you had to get this. You had this book that you carried with you that had okay. all of the uh, 
active fraternity members names in it and yeah. they had to give you they had to have a conference with you oh, food alert yep here food comes alert. Your, here there's your salad for seven. Oh my goodness is a salad for seven <laughs> look it's nina how are you doing thank you thank you so is this like a mukbang like you guys eat while you're talking yes. about it yeah. okay mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. So all of this. Wait, this is like a what? What did you say? A mukbang. Mukbang. I thought you said something about a you know, thong. Like, there's ASMR and then there's mukbangs. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be a cool one though. PJ is eating his pickles before he puts them on. I'm telling you right now, I love onions. So That's a little strange. My uh, breath is going to be kicking like a ninja turtle. This is... This is a lot. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of With egg protein happening yeah. there. Would we bring you to anywhere where you did not get fed well? This is apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. Now, is this not the best kept secret in Owensboro? I know. I've never been here. Look this is this. my first Look time. At this food. It's crazy. Have you seen time. the? Um, have you seen the fans? Yeah, Look up on the, the ceiling. <laughs> I know. It's very. We've never seen them operate, have we? <laughs> no. Like, I how hot does it have to get outside for those to come <laughs> on? Very. Before they turn the planks on. <laughs> but anyway, um, what were we talking about? Oh, Fraternity. What yeah. is this? Syrup for the pancakes. For your burger. I was going to say. Don't I thought it was like burger. burger. I thought it was like soy sauce <laughs> or something. So, anyhow, we... Um, PJ, to answer your question, we had to get their conference. They would conference... And then when you gave them your conference, they would give you a task. That you, when, when they would give you a conference, they would give you a task that you had to do. And the task that you had to do, you had to do it, and then you would get their out. And they would just put an O, and you'd be done. So you had to have a conference with this person. They gave you some kind of task to do. You would accomplish the task, come back to them, and then they would say, you're done, we're done, you're good. And you have to do that for, like, all 100 active members. So one guy gave me this assignment. I had to memorize the saying on a Budweiser beer can. <laughs> this is the famous <laughs> Budweiser beer. And it goes on about we've, we, we only use the cho- choicest hops and barleys and all this. I mean, it's like no other beer, you know. And I had to memorize it and say it within 30 seconds. And so those were the kind of things that we had to do. Now, for people out there, we did not give Kendall that type of homework task. <laughs> we did not ask her to memorize right. the Budweiser beer can. She had to see how many beers she could drink in 30 seconds. They did not haze me, <laughs> to clarify. How are you again? I'm 19. <laughs> okay. Well, that was illegal when you drank all those beers. Yeah, what's beer? Huh? <laughs> I'm joking, of course. All right, now, what was the first assignment I gave you? Because I can't really remember. My first... Yeah. Assignment like no for the for this podcast for, oh for the podcast okay it was to learn about or kind of dive deeper into the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial mm-hmm. which I have it's what's very this? interesting all right what's the status of that trial so right now they're on day eighteen or nineteen I believe and they're in the cross examination stage of who. Um, of Amber. Oh. Um, so lots of... You can of, tell the way she said her name, it's going real well. Yeah. Camila Vasquez, which is Johnny Depp's attorney, is really... She's great. She is very authoritative, but patient. You know, she's straight to the point. She's still very polite. Amber Heard's attorney, on the other hand, is not. There's a lot of memes and jokes online that um, she got her attorney off of Craigslist. <laughs> because she's just not very good mm-hmm. I mean she's just kind of all over the place she constantly argues with the judge constantly like yelling at the judge and that's no offense to any good attorneys you can get off Craigslist I know <laughs> yeah. I know sorry I'm to the Craigslist advertisement off Craigslist. I know yeah I put know. it on reddit well you know just compared to their you know how much money do they make and yeah, you know true. celebrities of this caliber they are gonna have some pretty good attorneys and she's just it's just surprising that she would come in to this heavy of a case with an attorney that is the way that her attorney is so well i would i would assume too that based off the audio that had come out about how she basically told johnny that you're a man so no one's going to believe you she yes, figured that did that, happen yeah that she figured she had it's like she can just kind of get whoever because she's automatically because she's a woman that's that true she's going to yeah win. that she's going to win yeah so, 
I'm going to ask you if you've read this part of it. I mean, I'm, okay. I want you to finish what you're going to say, but I read something about was it this her her personal psychologist or her acting coach, and that, that it appeared that a lot of the crying that she'd done throughout the trial had been fake crying. Yeah. What was that about? Yeah, so I actually have been listening to it. I kind of listen to it like a podcast because I obviously can't watch it like I'm doing stuff all day, but I've been listening to it um, this week and last week, and then I was listening to it last night. Um, So I have seen and heard a lot of that. Um, And it's funny because you do, you look at the times that she is crying in her testimony, which was last week, several days of last week. Um, She's making the noises as if she's crying, and she's, you know, her, her breathing sounds, sounds like she's crying, but there's no tears on her face. And... You know, they'll ask her a question a minute later, and she's dry-eyed, and she's, you know, back to her stern self. So it's just, like, funny because she's not crying, and it's very apparent. So it's bad acting. It's bad acting, (laughs) which is embarrassing for her. But, yeah. All right, so she is still on the stand. She's still, yeah. How many days has she been on the stand? Three or four? For Mm cross-examination or just, like, in general? Probably. I think this is the third day, and I think it's the last. Okay, so one thing that that... For our listeners out there that, you know, one of the biggest things that TV has done to the practice of law is people think this is that, that it's quick. That, you know, you go to a trial and you, go to, you can go to a trial in a matter of a few weeks and then you get this trial and then it's... But all the work that goes in beforehand, like depositions... And then trial is long. I mean, you take breaks for the jury. The jury has to have breaks. You have breaks for the judge and all their staff. And it is something that just goes, what is that noise? Excuse me. (laughs) It was the ketchup (laughs) bottle. Um, Anyways. (laughs) So, you know, and this trial is a perfect example of that, how people can be on the stand for days, you know. So any indication of when this whole thing is going to be over? Um, There their guess is Memorial Day weekend. I would be very, very, very surprised if it's over by then. Okay. So. How do they guess that, though? By the number of witnesses that are left on the witness list. They're interviewing the first few witnesses today. They're ending her cross-examination, and they've, I think, on stand right now is one of their mutual best friends. Question. It's not James so. Franco. I it can is tell you not. That. However, they have talked about him oh, and shown oh, video clips of him. I know. So Apparently, Jimmy's not a big fan of him, according no, to him. No, and uh, yeah, understandably, yeah. Well, excellent. PJ, you have any questions about the Johnny Depp trial? There's a lot to unpack. There, it would be a, like a there six been, hour. I was going to say, there have been times where I've turned the live feed on and, and listened don't. in the background, like what you're saying, yeah. you know, as, as if it was a podcast. Okay, I, here's something I'm curious about. And this is probably going to be more of a question uh, for you, Travis. But at certain points when... I'm eating, so I'm not answering questions. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to ask you anyway. Go ahead. I'm about to burp. I'm trying to hold it in. It's not funny. I'm on the struggle bus right now. So, um, when the attorneys say, Honor, can we approach the bench? They shut the audio off for the camera feeds. What's the deal with that? Well, because things that are discussed at the bench should not be heard by the fact finders. And they don't want it to get out public because the things are said there. So what happens uh, in a court in the courtroom, in most courtrooms, is when you go up to the, the bench, you're having conversations about potentially uh, inadmissible evidence, evidence that could be prejudicial. They will use white noise so the jury cannot hear what's being said. So if they go to that white noise, they're probably cutting the audio for the vid- for the video feed as well, because the things that are discussed until the judge rules it to be admissible evidence, uh, and it, it could be prejudicial, right? And so the and so those discussions of an attorney's like, well, he knows this and he knows that. Well, that may be stuff that the jury will never hear, so they don't want the jury to hear it. And there's a possibility that if it gets out public that the jury could end up hearing it. Like, you all never got, guess what you didn't get to hear, you know? Right. So that's why they killed that. It was like, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. They must have went up there 300 times. I mean. Oh, yeah. They go up there a lot. She, It's I'm, really they annoying fight. when they cut the audio off because. I know. I we like want to hear the tea. I don't know. I don't know. 
Apparently Sonic the Hedgehog is in here somewhere collecting <laughs> coins. Because I keep hearing that. Is that your phone? Oh, huh? no. It's not hmm. mine. Mine's on silent. You all are hearing that though, right? Yeah. yeah I'm here. Okay. But anyway, so I noticed uh, something else had come out within the last couple days where apparently, and it started with uh, that the story was one of the uh, deputies overheard Amber and her attorney arguing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And the the attorney was like, well, if you don't like my representation, you can effing represent yourself. Right. And then it came back out that it actually wasn't one of the, I guess it wasn't one of the deputies. It was somebody that was sitting near that doorway when a deputy opened the door and heard the argument have do you know much about what happened there well yesterday um amber's attorney and i forget her name they she was arguing like i said quite a bit with the judge well that was actually camille because everything (laughs) that she was questioning amber on in the redirection was totally not in the scope of the case at all it was just not applicable at all It, it didn't have anything to do she was just you know, trying to make something up because she's being caught in several, several lies. And so I, I did notice that Amber would rip her, whip her head around and glare at her and kind of look at her like, you know, stop talking, stop fighting with the judge because you're making me look even worse. So right. I did see oh, so that. Amber was arguing with the judge? No, um, her attorney. Oh, okay. So um, she would sustain the objection and her attorney would continue to argue with the judge about sustaining the objection, which you cannot do. <laughs> and so Yikes. she, uh, they went back and forth and they like yelled at each other the whole nines. So Amber was glaring at her quite a bit, but I don't know what they were actually arguing about. I was going to say, obviously she's not happy with the representation. At least um, not she in that shouldn't moment. be cause she's about to lose. Right. <laughs> I have a feeling. Now here's just so. a, just to play devil's advocate here. Yeah. As far as, like, Johnny is concerned, have they caught him in any lies or anything that seems to be... from what I've listened to, it's noticeable the difference between them. Like, him and Amber, he's very composed when he gets up there. He's very to the point. He doesn't volunteer a lot of extra information, and she does because she's trying to sway in a different direction. Um, So he's very composed. He's very... he, he, He doesn't appear very worried about it to me. He does not look her in the eye. I will say that. Um, wow, she's really and they, done a good job here. They at PJ. addressed that yeah. yesterday. Um, Heard's attorney asked, "Why do you think he's not looking you in the eye?" And of course, she said, "Well, because he's guilty. He's guilty. He can't look at me. I'm looking at him." You know, all that stuff. I don't think that there's anything he's lying about. I think that he definitely used a lot of hard drugs and alcohol, um, and had his problem with that. I think he would lash out at her, but I don't think that he ever hit her. Right. And you can see that in the audio recordings. You can hear, you know, the sounds, and you, you can, can hear see her that screaming. In the audio Sorry, recording. you can hear it mm-hmm. in She's the audio. Make a great attorney. Um, We're sitting she can at least represent I'm sorry. Amber Heard. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. You can, you can, you can put together the pieces. You can right. hear the sounds of her smacking him. So I, I personally don't think that he's lying. I have seen some video clips. One was, of course, I'm sure we, I'm sure we've all seen the video clip, or I'm assuming we've all seen the video clip where she's got two bottles of water, or two, bo- excuse me, two bottles, and one's a bottle of water, and she starts to open it, or at least it appears like a bottle of water, and then as soon as one of the bailiffs start walking up to her, she very quickly like, she she her demeanor becomes like oh crap, and she pockets the bottle very quickly before the bailiff can see it. Yeah. And it ca- they caught the whole thing on camera. Well, I mean, there's something going on there because yeah. her her body language and everything it's funny. changes up. I thought that was a nun. Was it the bailiff? <laughs> I thought it was some nun or something. Are there bailiffs it, it dressed was, like nuns? Oh, there? You're, the 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 guy that walks up to her, the way he's dressed, he looks like, looks a, like priest. a priest. That's what right. It was. And then the bailiff comes walking up behind him as she's as Amber's talking to him. And her, her body language and everything, like, she really stiffens up because she starts to, like, bring the bottle up to her face. And then you see her kind of look over and see the bailiff walking by. She very quickly, like, sticks it. Well, maybe doesn't put the cap back on. It sticks it back, it like, in her pocket. Oh. Well, so it's, it's there's, some, there's, there's some questionable behavior happening. She's a, she's a very questionable person. To me, it's very apparent, especially because, it, um, you know, they'll dismiss and Johnny will get up and and pass her as he's exiting and he has to pass her to do that and she'll she'll shut her away and act like she's terrified yeah and he's very composed and very 
I've seen where she started to get off the stand and he had to come back up there and he starts to walk up and she does this she whole thing. She just freaks out. Like, she's terrified. And like, and she's terrified. Yeah. It looked like really bad acting. Yeah. Well, apparently there's been a lot of that according to yesterday's testimony. So, All right. We got to switch gears real quick here. You had another homework assignment. And that was to let us know what the status of the Supreme Court leaks uh, on the uh, so I know we can go back and listen so I need an update on both of these <laughs> oh so, no <laughs> so oh, no. for those that don't know what I'm mentioning re- referring to two episodes ago and around the time that John and you did your episode like mm-hmm. a day or two before that uh, the opinion that was written by the Supreme Court uh, that overturns uh, Roe v. Wade oh, yes. was leaked yeah. Okay. was leaked and it's not supposed to be leaked this has never happened since the birth of our country and the when we had the, it's an the, interesting way of putting it yeah so considering the subject that's matter exa- exactly right <laughs> and so we had um ever since we've had a quote supreme court we've never had an opinion that made it to the public before it was supposed to go public before it was published and so I am interested in knowing, and I have not, I just have not stayed up with this story, so here's what I'm interested in knowing. Is there an investigation into the leak uh, as to how in the world it happened, who caused it, and and how this can happen, you know, and what's going to happen because of it? I, you know, it's just like, okay, it happened, and what happened after the leak was the story became about the content of the opinion, which it's, it's obviously a very, very controversial opinion, so I can right. understand that. But it's kind of like what's gotten lost in the entire thing is, is how does the highest court in the nation allow an opinion to go public before it's finalized? Right. Like who's leaking? Yes, that's right. And how does that person in that position? I'm so sure, I'm sure our listeners can see that Kendall is obviously up to date as hearing, well. As I mentioned before, <laughs> well, hearing is seeing. Glad you picked up on that. <laughs> this, this creates a genuine issue. Am I that lo- she doesn't know? No, no, hold on. Am or I, am that I losing we- it? <laughs> I know. Am I losing it's not it? Not bad. Hold on. No, hold on. Am I losing it? Did I not ask her to 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 look into this, or did I? And she just missed it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I only remember the Johnny Depp. Assignment. Okay, so bef- I, I I genuinely I honestly don't remember, and I'm not. I genuinely do not remember that. I remember you and John talking about it on the last podcast, but I don't. remember. Oh, we discussed it in the last podcast. I I know we discussed it. I yeah. Was like, well, your well, memory's better than mine, I don't so you have you any probably did bring it up. I said we had a good. You, I said you guys had a great podcast while I was gone. While I was gone to New York, and fished, right. And then I was like, because y'all discussed both this and that. And I was like, by the way, what's the update on that? We were all kind of shady. And I said, Kendall, next podcast, what I want is an update on the Johnny Depp and on the leak. I think I did. But I, if, if I did it, if I did it, and, I did, and then I'm sorry. I'll apologize ahead of time. But if I did, then you have, you're, you're batting basically 50%. You know, and that's a failing grade. I talked so much in the last episode. I'm pretty sure I... I checked out after that. 50% get it, you know, in college. And what, what's yeah. your major again? Okay. <laughs> you know what? Our downfall cannot always be attacking my major. My major is <laughs> integrated strategic communication and marketing. There you go. And minor in music. AKA forgetting assignments. I'm sorry. No, you did I really did good. Forget. You did good on the, on the uh, Johnny Depp trial, but. I th- I I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw this out there, but throw in, out. in her defense, no pun intended. Um, That's funny, PJ. Thank you. That's yeah, funny. Can I have one to go. And just so our listeners know, I wasn't thanking Kendall. I was thanking Ryan. Private hey. Ryan. <laughs> yep. You're saving. Her. I was saving Private Ryan. <laughs> and uh, anyway, <laughs> what were we talking about? You said uh, in her defense. I'm just in her. Def- I'm just. I'm thinking no about Tom intended. Hanks now. Ha ha ha. What? Yeah, I don't remember in what I was going to say. Like we, we were talking. Oh, in her defense, the um, there's like she said, there's a lot going on and a lot to unpack with this whole Johnny Depp thing. Uh, so I understand. But there is. I barely, here's, here's, barely, what if barely I, touched the surface. Here's what's funny, though. Here's what's funny. 
at the end of the day, though, what's what's a more important subject matter? The Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial, <laughs> or what's going on with Roe versus Wade? Like which and one's going to affect this? Well, here's the here's the more concerning. Well, here's it's going it's going to affect you more than really it affects me because I've had a vasectomy. PJ, <laughs> you looked at me like you knew you shouldn't say that. The second you said it, you looked at me. Now, I'm gonna quickly I'm gonna quickly adjust this conversation. <laughs> Please <Okay>. do. <clears throat> here's the more meaningful thing to me as a perspective employer of her in the future like if, if, if she wanted you're to be being scolded know, if she I'm wanted like, to be oh, somebody this has always happened to me if we, to br- if we wanted to bring her on as you know our next young attorney young professional if i said hey over the weekend i need you to work on this and that what this is indicating to me is that this may get worked on or that may get worked on but i'm not going to get this and that you understand what i'm saying it's like, oh, I'll just drop yeah. off 50% of my instruction. Um, I did not drop it off. Did it you see her look brain. at me like she's like, why aren't you defending me now? <laughs> no. <laughs> did you, ca- did you no. catch that? Okay, here's the thing. To be, to be, to be fair, in my defense, in my defense if we're playing that, <clears throat> there was a lot to unpack in the last episode. I was very focused on you, PJ. Oh, very no. focused well, on your She's playing the sympathy card testament. now. Yeah, it sounds no. like she's blaming me. There was a PJ. lot of focus my, on other she's, things. She's blaming my salvation. <laughs> we barely skimmed over that. <laughs> no, <laughs> we barely skimmed <laughs> over that. Okay, to be fair. PJ, PJ, here's I need to start deal. taking notes. I need future. you. I need you oh, so to, to run back. Thank you. <laughs> to run back the last podcast. I listened to that podcast and I still am not certain I told her so I'm either going to have a lot of crow to eat or she really failed me and so this has got to be this is going to make this is going to now what this does is she has to be here for the next one yeah right just to take the part three or either to hear me he's making this up so that I have to be on the next one no he likes me being here he just just won't say it out loud maybe maybe we need to come back to Dee's diner no no he wants to listen (laughs) don't let him Kendall either this is going to be a momentous day either I either I'm going to prove that you weren't listening which is the number one thing that lawyers need to do is listen or okay. I'm going to have to apologize to you Which on a podcast has never for really, really, really. <laughs> so it's it's a big deal. Okay. So he'll be getting a face full of that fire hydrant. If, uh, <laughs> I know that wrong. you mentioned earlier that you haven't seen in a while. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, we're going to have to cut this podcast off here because you and I have a big job to work on this afternoon. Yep. We're going to go to the scene of a wreck. And we're going to do some investigation, a little on-the-scene investigation. Mm-hmm. That's a very busy road. I hope we come back alive. Um, yeah, I've already thought of that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. But anyhow, um, PJ gets nervous when I take him out to the roads. <laughs> he gets nervous. Well, because what happens... His nose is twitching. No, because here's what happens. I, I get so focused on like trying to get the photos and stuff <coughs> that he becomes my spotter. And he's like, PJ, there's a car coming. PJ, you're going to need to get out of the road. Because I'm, I'm so fixated on um, You guys need to have a vlog photos. channel. I don't think like about Like behind dying. the scenes. Hmm? That would be fun. Like a vlog channel. Behind, behind the, scenes, the scenes. Like stuff like that. That'd be hilarious. People would eat that up. In my opinion. Right. Well. Mm-hmm. Add it to the marketing we strategy. That's right. We need another videographer. <laughs> yeah. We need to. Uh, you know. I keep being told that I need to get on TikTok. No. I think that's that's a little too far. Yeah. I think we can start. I've the, heard TikToks where it's at, though. But here's the deal for my cousins who are listening, they're just going to have to wait one more episode because the topic that they wanted me to discuss was. Oh, it's actual work. It's Bria. Should I answer it? No. Okay. Shout Sorry, out Bria. Bria. <laughs> You've been superseded. The topic that we are going, they want me to discuss is who is my favorite cousin. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys profiles of my cousins, and you're going to help me. I'm going to try to give you unequivocal, unequivocal explanations of my childhood memories with these particular individuals and some of the things we've done together, and then I'm going to let you pick my favorite cousin. It sounds like he's shirking off the responsibility of picking his favorite cousin because then... 
all the cousins after that that he has to answer to, he could be like, well, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't this sounds like a it. dangerous they, game. There's they, always something they dangerous. It. No, we'll do it. We're going to do it. I'm going to give honest stories, honest evaluation and analysis. And because, just so you know, among our cousins, we always talk about who was grandma's favorite. Okay. And of course it was me. And the, we always talk about who, you know, like we're the favorite, like favorite to the aunts and uncles and things like that. And so now my cousin said, let me know in the episode of when you choose your favorite cousin. So uh, it's kind of just an ongoing theme among our group text and it has been a part of our childhood. And uh, so we're going to, we're going to end it once and for all, but you guys get to pick. Do you have a favorite cousin, though? Absolutely not. I don't I do. Have a, I don't have a family child. I mean, <laughs> a favorite <laughs> child. <laughs> I, I was like, whoa, it. yeah. That's a Freudian a slip. A couple of those. I do have a favorite intern. <clears throat> I mean, here's the thing. Oh, I, it's Davin. I'm just going <laughs> to throw this out there. But anybody I've ever, as a parent, I know for a fact that you have a favorite child. Any parent, favorite child? Oh, yeah. Yes, he does. Any 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 parent that says, "Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't have favorites." Yeah. I don't have favorites. That yeah, is one hundred percent. Well, Kendall's parents definitely factual. have a favorite, and I will tell her I agree with her on this. It's her brother. <laughs> so, her. I I can't I can't argue that he's pretty yeah. great. Well, <laughs> he is to be <laughs> At honest. Least you're cool he's with pretty it. great. <laughs> I had a favorite, and then Connor turned ten, and now I hate both my children. <laughs> So That's good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, Logan's my favorite. My now. favorite changes every week. It's whichever one asks me for the least amount of money in a week's time. It oh, starts with A. It does. With Lee. It does shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh? It starts with A and ends with Lee. Oh, you think it's Allie's my Lainey? favorite? You think Lainey's my favorite? Yeah, I'm not gonna say ever. That's now, my I can say That's my it, it does change. It it does shift depending on. Which kid sucks hey, hey, more in the moment? Hey, speaking of my kids, we got a news flash on one of them today, didn't we, PJ? I thought you were going to oh, say no. one of them was pregnant. No. Oh, no. PJ. You know, that's, I, oh, I know where he's going now. I got a phone call, and I'm in a very important meeting with PJ and Tyler about this new case. Important was in quotes. And um, <laughs> this call comes in, and it's Kate. And I don't have my phone with me, but I have my watch my apple watch so i i I hit i hit on there take the call right Mm -hmm. kate goes hey dad and i go hey kate and she goes uh you got me on speed she goes are you busy i said no i said i'm just sitting here with tyler and pj and she goes you you have me on speaker i said well you're on my watch and she goes okay well this is kind of embarrassing oh i'll tell you anyway so I'm just, now I'm getting a little nervous because if Kate says it's kind of embarrassing, there's no telling where this could go. <laughs> this is true. So Kate said, Dad, you know, I've got this dimple in my butt. <laughs> this little dimple. You are not. Yeah, she would die. She, Hopefully she, she doesn't says, listen to this. I have this. this little dimple in my butt. And she goes, so we decided, that, you know, maybe I just get that looked at. So she said, I had it looked at. And Dad, well... There's a BB in there. So I need to know, did you ever shoot me with a BB gun? <laughs> that was literally the question, wasn't it? Yeah. PJ? I said, Kate, Yeah. no, I've never shot you with a BB gun. <laughs> and she goes, well, I asked mom the same question. <laughs> and by asking mom the same question, she asked, did dad ever shoot me in the butt with a BB? <laughs> And so I was like, are they sure it's a BB and not some other foreign object? Like, you know, and she was like, whatever it is, it is in my butt. And how did it get there? (laughs) And my ex-wife, Kelly, said, I think your dad's responsible for this. That is hilarious. Of course, I said, I think your mom's probably responsible for this. But, you know, with all of the things that girl has done in her lifetime and the places she's been and they're... There's no telling what they're going to eventually... If, if It's not causing her any problem. So she may not have it removed. Right. But on the x-ray, it appears to be a BB. Did she say how deep in? Well, you heard the conversation. She did not say that. No. Okay. I so couldn't remember if she did or not. We ended the conversation with me saying her new nickname is BB Butt. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that's awful. She's gonna she's gonna die if she listens to this podcast. No, she's yeah. not. It's truthful and yeah, well, yes, lots of things are true. <laughs> it's not like it's a huge look. This is an anything goes podcast. <laughs> She's going to love it's it. It's not like it was a, it's a big indention. Right. I, well, I, I told her it was a, it was a tracking device from an alien abduction. Yeah. No, that really well. It could be. It could be. Yeah. I know that you and Tyler the said lizards. it's from her sliding into first base or whatever, and <laughs> somehow a BB wedged up into her butt, but that I'm pretty sure that's not it. It's a pebble mm-hmm. from a baseball field. That's what I think it is. Lodged up in Yeah, but she said a metal BB, didn't she? She said they think it's metal because of the way it appeared on the... See? It's a tracking device from alien abduction. Right. All right, this has been we'll Light. <laughs> Kendall, do you know what your assignment is for next week? My assignment is to investigate on the Supreme Court. Yeah, the least. Yes. to finish yes. the assignment you were supposed to finish. It is to it, start maybe. the assignment that was pros <laughs> that was proposed to me. <laughs> Perhaps for the second time, yeah. We will see. Pay, PJ, you are going to run that back and let me know. I will. I'll see, see yeah. what happens. All right. Uh, we appreciate everybody's time and attention <laughs> listening to this incredible <laughs> podcast, this publication of unbelievable media it's just an awesome awesome podcast kendall thank you of course thanks to the folks here at d's diner thanks for private ryan nina and uh the chef back there cooking up the vittles it was really good stuff and uh and kenneth ken all right cut this case never come i don't think it's fair to call my clients frauds because one time i turned into a dog and they helped me thank you Your Honor, we would like to withdraw our plea of not guilty and enter a plea of guilty. This trial is a travesty. It's a travesty of a mockery of a sham, of a mockery of a travesty of two mockeries of a sham. If we are to have faith in justice, we need only to believe in ourselves. And the truth shall set you free! How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Oh, guilty, but with a real good excuse. I think the truth will come forth. You can't handle the truth!